So the first thing I'm going to do is prep the leather jacket and just use a bit of nail polish remover, tiny bit on some tissue and just wipe clean the area I'm going to paint on. So just give it a gentle wipe on the area you're planning to paint on. You don't need to do it to the whole jacket. Um, so this is just to make sure you're removing sort of the shine of the jacket and um, that will make sure that the paint sticks on it. Otherwise it will be too greasy for it. If a bit of the colour comes off, uh, don't worry, that's all part of it. So I'm just drawing an outline of my design now. Um, I only need an outline at this stage because I'm going to add a white base layer. We need that so that the colours, they pop out, they stand out on the white. Because if I just paint directly on the black, the colours won't really uh, show up that much. So this is an outline. I'm going to now add my layer of white paint. So I'm going to use um, this white Angelus leather paint which is specifically made for leather, so um, amazing stuff. And I'm going to use a really sort of like a large brush because it's quite a large area and I just need to add a white coat and a detailed brush just to do the edges. So we want to start with really thin coats, so I'm just going to do one thin layer and then I'm going to do a second coat after I finish this layer. So I'm just doing the outlines with a detailed brush and then I go back with the bigger brush and fill the areas I need to fill. Don't worry if this layer looks a bit messy with a lot of brush strokes, that's natural. When you put your second layer on top it will be quite nice and smooth. So this paint dries very, very fast actually, so once I've just finished my first layer and now I'm pretty much ready for my second layer, you don't really need to wait um, that much in between for it to dry. You can just you know, start your second layer and this time you can see it's a lot more, the white is a lot more vivid and smooth as well. So after you've done um, two or three layers for the base, it's best to wait at least an hour or two for it to dry completely before you start drawing um, your design on there and painting, you know, that design. So wait at least an hour, I would say. Okay, so it's been an hour since I've painted the base layer and now I've just started sketching out my design. So I'm just doing outlines, not too much detail because the detail we can always add with paint. So. Okay, now I'm going to start adding some colour to my design and I'm going to use Angela's paint for the entire process. Um, it's best to start with thin layers and then add a second layer on top. Now I've just done one layer of um, this colour in these sections and this paint dries quite quick so it's almost um, pretty much dry. Now you can go back and add a second layer and this is when the paint really starts to show up and um, the brush strokes kind of become hidden. So once you've added your second layer that's um, pretty much all you need. You can add a third one but I usually just stick with two. Okay, so I've done two layers in this area. You can see in comparison to this air, which only has one layer of paint, how smooth it becomes just by adding a second layer. So don't worry too much when you're doing your first layer and you'll see there's a lot of brush stroke marks on there. Don't worry because when you add your second layer, and this time try to do it in one direction, um, you will see immediately how clean that becomes and all the brush strokes sort of disappear.